Hi programmers, in this video I'm going to show you how you can configure Swagger in your Spring Boot application, especially Spring version 3.0, okay. So I'm just quickly going to show you the version what I have. So I have Spring 3.x, okay. Now what you have to do is like what APIs I'm currently running, I'm going to quickly show you. That is simple kit API, nothing fancy. So this is the simple kit API which is up and running, that's fine. Now we will see this API in the Swagger in this uh, browser, I would say, okay. So after that, you have to make some points. That is that Spring uh, Spring Boot guys has developed a new platform, or I would say the configuration uh, tool, I would say, uh, that is called Spring Talk Open API, which is a combination of Spring Boot plus Swagger, okay. so to configure and to use Swagger in your application, you just need to add a couple of dependencies. And what are they? This is the first, okay? And the second one I'm gonna provide in the description below. So I'm just, quick, I'm just call, uh, quickly gonna go and copy those two dependencies, okay? And then paste it in the description. Uh, sorry, in the form.xml. Before that, I just quickly gonna stop it, clear it, paste it, and the end. So, you have to provide the Spring Boot starter validation first, be just above the Open API starter Web MVC UI. Okay, just save it and rebuild the uh, project quickly, like this. So install. Just quickly, I'm gonna skip the test cases. So won't take much time all right now next thing what you have to do is just i'm just gonna go and run it Beautiful. Just gonna quickly go back and check whether my previous API is running or not. It should not break, okay? It's not breaking, everything is working fine. Now we have to check how to access the Swagger. What you have to do is just copy uh, your endpoint until the uh, port number and forward slash Swagger dash UI dot HTML, hit it and you will get your swagger APS over here, over here and then you can just go and quickly test it try it out and paste it and boom you will get your response to okay so that's how you can you know configure uh, the swagger APS guys I'm gonna start giving you a beautiful content uh, like beautiful content I would say in regards to the complete solutions uh, in entire thing which will be completed in just minutes so please do subscribe to my channel like it and share it to the people and the programmers i would say to build a beautiful community and let's help each other thanks for watching